Absolutely. Um, so the project lead role uh, is more sitting with schools around supporting um, the whole school approach and the liaison role really is around bringing together the community sector and statutory um, bodies to support schools as well. Um, and that linkage, I mean, in the Barwon area we work very um, collaboratively around those two roles and, um, and we both have experience in schools and in the community sector so we do that sort of together. Um, but yeah, I think I, I would absolutely encourage um, people not in or if you are from my area and I don't already know you contact me as well but if you don't know your project lead and liaison officers in, in your own areas um, there is actually 34 staff from Department of Ed in each apart from people that are currently on leave but um, across the state that are tapped into more than a thousand schools and have very strong relationships with schools um, and ongoing meetings and email lists and um, so it is a really good way and I guess just in terms of some examples I think um, it's about building the capacity of teachers. I know that we um, we now, it's definitely not seen as best practice that we bring people in to deliver um, and we need to be building the skills of our teachers to be able to deliver the four hours um, because at the end of the day, they're the teachers that will be responding to disclosures. Um, we would love it that students would just respond or disclose at a particular time when wellbeing were available, but it doesn't happen. <laughs> um, so we need to make sure that our teachers are skilled up and um, we've been running some regular foundation knowledge PDs in Barwon, specifically around topic seven and eight. So um, we've had a the introduction uh, we do is the RR team around topic seven and eight, the statistics, why that's important, where it fits into the curriculum. Um, and then from there, Vic Legal Aid, who have also been down in Western, um, talking about consent and the law and sexting. And um, then CASA doing some work around sexual assault prevention, as well as our um, gender and sexuality um, support project, GASP, um, which City of Greater Geelong, most city um, local councils have a youth services um, project, working with young people who are same-sex attracted, trans or gender diverse. So we've been running those foundation knowledge PDs on a regular basis, um, targeting teachers from level, that are delivering level five and six up from topic seven and eight. In addition to our four R teaching, um, which we've been doing as well, which is really around the delivery in the classroom, which I really recommend that um, community organisations get on board with our RR team and support that as well. But I think there does need to be some more foundational knowledge that is delivered and I think that that's where the people in the room can really support schools with um, coming on board and us um, co-delivering some of that stuff or us bringing schools um, forward to, I guess the thing is that we have schools that have money and one of the biggest, um, you know, there was a question around key ingredients for um, successful partnerships. And I think it's about understanding just how time poor schools are, and that's been a regular thing today. Um, but also the cost of CRTs and things is, is incredible. So if you come on board with us, then um, you know we're able to then recommend our schools use their grants that they've received from being part of Respectful Relationships. And then we can really target, um, instead of some organisations individually targeting schools, where you might need to go to sort of 12, 15 schools um, most of our RR teams have at, at regular PD sessions and if um, we work together on that, I think we could probably reach more uh, schools and staff and more targeted. So, yeah.